Hey, and welcome to another of my 6th edition Tyranid Tactics and General Mayhem videos. How are you doing today? Uh, today we're going to be talking about Venomthropes. Venomthropes is a popular unit choice now. Uh, not as much for me, because I like Lictors, and and they pretty much are hard to see from the beginning, so, so Venomthropes don't really give them that much of an advantage, but, but... For people who like Nidzilla armies, uh, 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 very useful. Um, the one of the best combinations that I have with them is combining them with lots of Carnifexes. You take broods of Carnifexes, you can, and you have the 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 Venomthropes walking up behind them. Okay, especially if you give the Carnifexes regeneration. Wow. Try to take those guys down. It's got regeneration. It's got shroud as it walks across the table. It, 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 it's going to be a tough... And, of course, you give it range weapons, so who's going to be able to get... It'll be able to kill people with blast and other nastiness from a long distance anyway. The big thing about the, uh, the, the Venom Thropes is I've been saying about other units that they're not melee, but Venom Thropes are actually very nice as melee units, just standalone melee units. Uh, they've got a 2 plus poison, but they also are strength 4. Don't forget this. Strength 4. So basically, that means. It's a two plus rending. Uh, not, I mean two plus, and you re-roll your ones on anything that has a uh, that, that has a toughness four or less, which is the vast majority of models in the game. So wow, that's kind of nice. And anything over strength fourth, you're still wounding on a two plus, which is very nice. And they also have their toxic miasma power, which they can pop once a game. Which the only th the only real use I see for this is when you're assaulting. Um, once again, leading to the idea that this is a melee unit. It's a closet melee unit. Well, you think it's a support unit, but it really isn't because it, it charges up once per game. It's a blast, and it gets rid of cover saves for for the units. So you could imagine if these guys are following up behind the Fexes or some other monstrous unit, which then assaults, and the the Venom Thropes assault with it. Yes, it go it pops the attack pops off on initiative one, true, but that doesn't mean the effect pops off on initiative one. The effect of hey, you can charge into cover without any without any debuffs happens just when it happens just when you declare it so which is probably going to be during your assault or that's how i would use it anyway and then of course it gives you one hit per model and base to base contact with the venom throat now if you've got a three venom throat unit and somehow you manage to get three venom throats and base to base contact probably with a big guy of uh, a monstrous creature or just uh, a lone character running around out there, they're each they're going to take a hit for each venom thrope that's touching it. Um, that has a lot of possibilities. So really, when I read the rules on the venom thrope, I'm thinking melee unit. It is supposed to get stuck in with whoever's going up with you. The shroud is nice. You combine that with the go to ground with the smaller units. If uh, uh, the hormigons, I guess, if they if they don't have any ranged weapons, they can just move up with them and keep them. But I also use fortifications because I use my comms relay, and a lot of the times, even in the lower point games, you can still take an Aegis defense line in a thousand point game easily, which gives you that whole wall that you're walking next to. And you got Venom Thropes helping you too. It's two plus cover saves, basically. You don't even have to go to ground. You're just running up that, along that wall. 
uh, making a path up through the center of the game uh, board or hopefully crossing a line across two of your table corners at the bottom and just sit back there shooting away. Uh, there's lots of uses with it, lots of uses with getting Shroud. Do not underestimate them. The other good thing I see about them is the Lash Whips. They come with Lash Whips, so that's plus three to their initiative. This means that they're going off at initiative six. Again, far faster than most of the units in the game. So you're talking about wounding on a two plus... With a reroll on anything of strength of toughness four, and uh, going off at initiative six. How many things are really going to match that? Probably not too many. Their hand to can obviously is not bad either. So yeah, think of them more as an offensive unit than a support unit. I could easily see three units if if you want to play that way. Three units of of venom thropes going up three full units of Venomthropes, going up with three full units of Carnifexes, just one for each one walking up behind it. And that's not even counting your HQs, which could be, you know, your your Swarm Lord uh, uh, going up with them, or, or Fly Rents, or just Tyrants, uh, or even just, you know, Warriors coming up from behind also with them, or they're coming up behind the warriors. There's lots of different ways you could use them to buff your army into a really, really ass-kicking melee army with them that uh, that can be looked into. And that's the Venomthropes for you, at least how I see them. I hope you enjoy the video, and if you do, please like and keep watching for what's coming next. See you next time.